So today, I'm not answering a question at all. I'm actually going to teach you a technique. And this is, I'm going to start doing a little series on uh, lucid dreaming induction techniques. And this is the dream induced lucid dreaming technique, the dialed, D-I-L-D. And as the name suggests, it involves becoming spontaneously lucid when you're just in a normal dream. So you're in a normal dream and something triggers your lucidity and you become lucid. And that something is what we're going to get into in this video. So there are actually several ways you can do a dream induced lucid dream, believe it or not. One of the ways, the first way is you can spontaneously realize that you're dreaming. And this is something that will happen as a result of practice and reality checks. So example would be you're in a normal dream, you're running along. And that's the thing with dreams. You always seem to find yourself right in the middle of the action. You can never really start somewhere. You're always, you know, running or you're, you're having dinner with someone. How did you get there? You know, you always seem to start right in the middle of the action as if you're sort of playing the tape, starting halfway through the film. So spontaneously, you'll be running along and then you'll fall over, look at your hands, realize that something's not quite right and realize, hang on, I'm dreaming. This isn't real. That is an example of a dream induced lucid dream. You were in a dream and then you became spontaneously lucid. Okay, and the way you will have that happen more is by reality checking more and being more aware of everything. Okay, so it's like a holistic approach. It's just your general level of skill with lucid dreaming. The more you become aware and the more you practice awareness, meditation, reality checks, dream journaling, uh, and affirmations, this is part of the next technique I'm going to share with you the more likely you will have a dream-induced lucid dream. And experienced lucid dreamers tend to have these quite a lot. This is almost like our, our um, average night's sleep, especially for me. I mean, I'll go to sleep and more often than not, I will just naturally have a lucid dream, even if I haven't done reality checks throughout the day. And even if I haven't been reading or thinking about lucid dreaming, I will just naturally, most of the time, not all of the time because no one's perfect, but naturally I will just drift into a lucid dream and something will trigger the lucidity. So that's the first sort of stage or step, if you will. The other thing you can do is by, and this is kind of linked to another technique called the mnemonic induced lucid dream, M-I-L-D, okay? And this is where you combine reality checks with affirmations and visualizations, okay? So this is something you would normally do about an hour before you go to bed and then obviously when you're laying in bed. So the reality checks throughout the day, as you have done, uh, as you do normally, and then you will do affirmations an hour before you go to bed. So you'll say things to yourself, either out loud or in your mind, like, I will recognize that I'm dreaming. Uh, when I dream, I will know that I'm dreaming. Tonight, I will have a lucid dream. I will wake up in my dreams tonight. Things like this. And you'll just repeat these to yourself, you know, about an hour before you uh, go to bed. And then when you're laying down and you're going, getting ready to sleep, you will uh, visualize the dream. So you'll, you'll spend a bit of time just, just thinking about the dream that you'd like to enter. So you might visualize like a beach and then uh, an island in the distance and you're on one island here and you can see the next island and you can feel the breeze on your face and you can hear the birds and see them flying above and you can see the little cloud and just focus on details and just sort of paint the picture for yourself of the dream that you'd like. And as you're visualizing this, of course, keep going with the affirmations and say, I will recognize that I'm dreaming. This is where I'll be. I'll be on this island. Okay, so that's obviously the, the, the dream-induced lucid dream technique linked to the mild technique, the mnemonic-induced lucid dream. And the, yeah, that's really all we're going to share today. This is the dream-induced lucid dream technique, and it's really just a basic sort of I guess you could say your indicator of your lucid dreaming skill. So if you're experienced, you will obviously have more dream-induced lucid dreams. If you're less experienced, you'll have less. And this is a way of you to sort of gauge your skill and your progress. If you start having dream-induced lucid dreams more, and by this I mean spontaneous lucid dreams, then obviously you're becoming more skilled, you're improving, you're improving your ability, your skill. And obviously, if you're not having many at all, 
it's apparent you need to work on things like reality checks and awareness. Now, before I go, there's just one more stage I'd like to share with you with regards to the dream induced lucid dreaming technique. And that is dream signs. Okay, so I haven't mentioned this before too much, but this is something heavily connected with your dream diary and your dream journal. If you haven't started keeping a dream journal, and if for some reason you've never heard of the idea, <laughs> um, basically a dream journal is where you write down your dreams every morning. You write the date, what happened in the dream, that's it. As soon as you wake up, you write down your dreams and you highlight important things like people, places, events, feelings, you know, details like numbers, addresses, this sort of thing. Okay, you do this every morning, regardless of whether you can remember a dream or not, you just write no dreams recalled. It trains your mind to remember dreams. Okay, that's as far as detailed as I'm going to go with the dreaming journal because it's something you should have really heard about before. Um, yeah, so dream signs. In a dream, there are typically a few, a handful of things or objects or people or places that are consistent throughout most of your dreams. And unless you are aware of them and you write them down in your diary, this is why the diary is so important, you, it won't help you. But by being aware of the things, the specific places, objects or people that keep coming up in your dreams, you can use those things to trigger a lucid dream. Okay, so let's say for example, that every time you dream, you see this object, okay? It's a little bull statue. It doesn't matter what the object is. Let's say that you see this. Maybe it's on a shelf or it's a huge statue on the side of the street. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's walking down the street. There's an actual bull. Okay. And whenever you see this gold bull or bronze bull, you can use that as a trigger, like a reality check, but more of a sort of instant, like instantly. I see that thing. Okay. I know I'm dreaming. You can use this. And the way you, the way you do this is by writing down details in your dream diary and when you establish a dream sign okay this is something that keeps popping up that you've had more than once maybe more than five times when you've established what your dream signs are highlight them and focus on them look for them okay you know throughout your if it's something that is in your waking life every time you see the object let's say it is this and let's say it's actually on your shelf like it is with me it's not my dream sign, but let's say it's on the shelf. Every time you see it, you ask yourself, am I dreaming? You use it as a reality check. You use it as a trigger for you to do a reality check. So you would look at this and say, right, that's my that's a dream sign. Let's do a reality check now. Am I dreaming? Okay. And you can use this because dream signs, more than likely, if they've happened in the past more than once, they're going to happen in the future. And you're going to notice these things and you're going to do a reality check and you're going to realize you're dreaming. So... It doesn't matter what the dream time is, it could be a person. It could even be a colour or a place. Okay, let's say you dream and you always see something green. You know, you might see a giant green statue or maybe one of the skyscrapers is green. Every time you notice that. And also, before you go to bed each night, think about your dream signs. Remember what your dream signs are as you're laying in bed ready to go to sleep. This is important. So, let's say your dream sign is a... Um, a giant orange cat, okay? Before you go to sleep, visualize a giant orange cat walking down the street and then visualize or imagine yourself seeing the cat and doing a reality check and becoming lucid. Because this is what you want to happen. You want this to happen in the dream. You want to see the cat, realize that you're dreaming and go ahead and have a lucid dream. So that is dream signs. That They are another way of having a dream induced lucid dream it's a spontaneous and a natural feeling technique it's something that i would recommend to beginners but it's not something that you can really uh physically force to happen i mean no technique really is something you can force to happen um the only i guess sort of forced technique i guess is the wake back to bed technique because you're interrupting your sleep cycle and then deliberately trying to have a lucid dream whereas this is a more natural free soft approach so this is the first technique video. I'm going to try to keep, keep these videos in about, about 10 minutes in length, so they're not going to be too long, they're not going to be too short and too vague. If you have any questions, any comments, anything I've missed, please... That sound that you just heard there, sorry, I was going to cut this video short, but that sound that you heard there is a lucid dreaming reality check reminder, and I have this set off to go every 40 minutes. And whenever I hear that sound, I ask myself, am I dreaming? 
am I awake? You know, and I'll do a reality check. So just a little interesting note there for you. So yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, anything at all, leave a comment, email me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now. It takes two seconds. The link is here or here. I'm not sure where this will be. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you in the next video.